Hi guys, this is Daryl with Leeds Lawn Care and Services. I'm going to do a quick video on some things right quick. Uh, thank you guys for uh, subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. Just hit 100 uh, followers. Thank you guys. I appreciate that very much. But uh, the reason why I'm doing this video real quick is because uh, one of my subs asked me a few questions and I'm going to try to answer some of them. Um, what I do on a weekly maintenance basis for both machines, I check the oil every day. Before I pull it off the truck on the trailer, we check the oil to make sure that we got the, the oil at the right levels and that we're, you know, we're rocking and rolling. Check the oil. Um, I do have a tire gauge. We check the tires uh, every couple of days. I don't check them regularly, like all the time, but the oil I check all the time. And of course, you know the gas, we put gas in them pretty much every day. Um, if I fill this guy up and I use him, I can go all day and probably half of the day tomorrow running him. And as a small guy, I fill him up in the morning, I can run him all day. And then uh, depending on how many I cut, I'd have to fill him up again in the morning. So honestly, this one started out drinking a good bit, but what happened, I guess everything, all the tools and lines had to fill up with fuel, and now it actually does really good on gas. This guy does good on gas as well, but if I'm cutting, if I cut like uh, like seven, eight yards, um, he, he cuts about, uh, I think the most I've gotten like, right around, I think nine yards I did, and then I had to fill it back up. You know, I think he took it all the way up to nine yards, and I put gas back in so uh, but I mean that's pretty efficient for him you know because we run I got a lot of small yards to mid-sized yards and that 32 the 36 does the job so the thing I want to tell you guys uh, every week I take that guy out as a, as a pressure spray in the back of my one of my commercial properties <laughs> excuse me there's a pressure sprayer in the back so I go to the back and I use the pressure sprayer and I clean out the deck once a week. Wash it out, get all the debris from under there. And um, that's worked well for me. I, you'd be surprised how much stuff builds up under the decks so just in a week's time. And I, I was shocked because I did this one for the first time. And I've had the machine for, uh, what, about a, about a month or so, a couple months. And that was the first time I took this one back there. And I looked under there, there was some stuff under there. And I was surprised because a lot of the grass I've been cutting with this thing has been dry. Now the only time I ran across uh, some really wet stuff was when I did the uh, last property, the bad property that we had, with the weeds, the high weeds, you know, they, the weeds hold a lot of water. And so that was my premise for checking this one, this one here, uh, this week because I went over that stuff and I knew that stuff was pretty wet. So I wanted to see how much buildup I had. So I got under there and I had a nice, I didn't have a lot, but I had an, enough buildup under there. So I was able to wash it out and then I washed it off, you know. And But this one, I've been doing this one every week. I've been washing this one every week because we've been running this one a lot. This one has uh, 210 hours on it. Still running great, still running strong. Uh, no issues out of it except for that training belt that I broke doing you know, some stupid stuff with it. But other than that, man, the machines, the, both of these machines are phenomenal. This one is very, very comfortable. You know, when you get on this, you don't want to get off of it. It's just so comfortable. You know, it's just, and it just glides. It's like it's got cruise control on the thing, man. It's like when you're rolling through the yards and you take your hands off the sticks, the thing just keep on rolling. It's, it's just, I love, I love it. Can't say enough about it. But I also, in the process of doing that, I check my belt suit once a week. I get under there and I, uh, I rub them to see if there's any uh, indents in them or anything of that nature. You know, or if the machine starts running funny or whatever, I'll get off and I'll immediately check. You know, but if it's still running smooth, there's a certain type of consistency to it, then you don't have to worry about it uh, as much. It's, it's typically fine. So yeah, and what happens, guys, See the little hole right there? I'll show you right here. It's a little, these little holes that they got in the deck. Probably can't see it, it's probably blurry. 
they got those little, they call them like breather holes. And what they do, they let air in so you can suck the uh, debris out of the spout on the end of it. And so those things will clog up too. So you have to keep those things kind of free because they're, they're there for a purpose to, to make sure air gets under there so it can get the stuff out of the deck. And that's kind of how, how that works, you know. And with all that running and, and flowing the way it does, it, it helps the machine run a lot easier and a lot smoother. So yeah, man, um, that was all. It was just a quick update. Um, like I said, check your oil every day. Check your oil every day. Every day you pull it off, you check that oil. And then once, once you uh, do that, then, you know, the other stuff, you know, make sure you got gas in it. You should be good to go check those tires periodically i check them like every uh like four or five days i check them and they typically don't move much unless you get a, a nail or something in them to mess them up but other than that man like i said machines are phenomenal um i love them both uh we may be getting something else at some some other point but uh as for right now this is what we got going on and uh i enjoy it man so Peace out, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Love you. Have a great day today. Peace out.